all kinds of times. When in reality, the Bible says, we're like a blade of grass. Today we are, and tomorrow we're cast into the oven. We're gone. Like a puff of smoke. But we are to occupy and make sure that we use the time we have correctly. <clears throat> Every one of us have been called. How well have you answered your calling? I was teaching the other evening and I watched Charlotte and write down and then it made a statement and it showed up in the bulletin today. <clears throat> have you surrendered truly? Oh. Or is there still reserve in your life? What does God have to do to, I hate to use that term, rattle your cage, to get you to pay close attention? God sent His Son to die for you and I, to walk and to live in the manner in which you and I are to live. Are you <coughs> fulfilling what's required? Can you fulfill what's required without surrendering all? The answer is no. I'm going to speak just a little while today Jesus made a call to his disciples. And they dropped everything and followed. But when the course changed and took a direction they didn't like, they went back to their nets. God, God does not want us going backward. He wants us on a steady forward progress. Have you dropped your nets? Or does the nets and the holes of the world still have a hold? wants us to be one. Can we function as a body completely in unification without being unified with one another? Say, I surrender all. I love that old song. The truth of 
of it is still in it. <coughs> it hasn't changed. But our willingness to surrender belongs to us each as an individual. You can start turning with me into the first chapter of the book of Mark is where I'll start today. Father, as we open the word, open our hearts, Master, to hear. understand, Lord, and to apply God's word to our life. Lord, that in the word, Lord God, we make it life and not death, Master. We make it blessing, Lord, not curse. Touch every heart that's here today, Master, by your word. Master, let us go. Master, with the truth. Master, full commitment. Master, updated on today's day. Master. Touch every life, Master, by your word. In Jesus' name I pray. <coughs> Amen. It was said in the bulletin we need to examine ourselves. That examination needs to be done daily. For the foundation of the Word in our life it's got to be a hell day. <clears throat> In the 15th verse of chapter 1 of the book of Mark, and say, the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye, believe the gospel, Believe the gospel. That's red letter because it was Jesus speaking. I was just reading a passage in 1 John chapter 2. And it says, He that keepeth not my commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. Are you committed to God in the point that you are putting the commandments of God into full use in your life. <clears throat> or do you expect God to keep his part of the contract and you break yours? The time is fulfilled. The time is completed, Jesus was saying. Now the ability for you to do what God has asked for you to do has come. You can fully surrender. Even though you think a lot of the time you can't. We don't surrender because we want to maintain control. 